Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we are going to be racing the NCCRS at Bristol Dirt. Last season we ran here. Uh, I think we did two races. Amy Chilson won the first one and then the second one was ran, won by some Dan. Today I got Reggie Fogelman in the booth with me. Say hi. Here. Ready? All right, never mind. But yeah, me and Reggie are going to be um, doing this one. Uh, but Truly Money in the number 24 for Shy Bracing is starting to pull here. And then two cars that are uh, supposed to be teammates starting two, second, and third at Ronnie Racing. But uh, that team has uh, kind of left the server. So pretty much just drivers just driving for themselves right now. And then Zig Zagoon, who's second in points, starting up front. And then Caden Williams starting fifth, first top five run in a while. So uh, yeah. It's a good way to start. And the big question is, when will Kyle Sustray's top 10 streak end? So the last week, man, it might not be this week. He's, he started outside the top 10. Starting outside the top 10 again today and even further back, he's starting 17th. However, Bristol Dirt, there's a lot of lines you can pass, but there's also a lot of lines you can get past. So we'll have to see what Kyler Sustray has to keep up his top 10 streak if he does. Currently, it lies at 6. He has still yet to finish a race outside of the top 10. And then another story, uh, our points leader Frank Chilton had a bad race at Indy. His battery streak, or his bad, he has a bad qualifier here at um, Bristol Dirt. And then mm -hmm. some Dan who won here last year also with a pretty less than top tier qualifying effort as uh, everything else uh, looks pretty similar or at a certain point anyway. So, um, I don't think there's going to be a huge point shakeup, but Penn truly money. He's in a spot in points where he could get a decent run up there currently right at the cutoff line in points. So good day could do him well. Uh, the 93 Tefter well outside of points could use a good day. Actually finished really well here last season. Brock Nelson's been inconsistent. Uh, there's not really much to say that. And then Zigzagoon, obviously um, second in points. And then, the two, only two Pontiacs in the field start in top five. Caden Williams start in fifth. But, um... Right. That is that okay. stuff, so... Doug, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. We're, good. We're ready. Any, any first thoughts, Reggie? Uh, yeah. I do have first thoughts. Frank Stoughton, is he is he slacking or is he gaining points? So he starts way in the back today. He playing the cool. He's starting way in the back there. He's got a lot to pass and do. Maybe it's the fact he's not getting on dirt. This is their first dirt race of the season. Be interesting to see. Thing is, I hope it ain't just. I hope it ain't like Knoxville. We can't see. Yeah, I don't believe dust is going to be a huge factor. And we'll, uh, we'll see some from the top lane, but I don't think it's going to be near as bad as Knoxville. You can't see the cars at all, but there will be some instances where maybe some guys will be able to escape through viewing through some dust here and there, but I don't think it's going to be too heavy or too bad. Hey, really, the less than good qualify for um, you know guys who've won races this season, you know, Frank Chilton, and then you see uh, Jeremy Frey in the three. Tough, uh, Thunder 24 fan who was a championship four championship contender last season hasn't done very well all this season very far back in points defending race winner 37 can just con not gonna be able to go back and back unless he can do a lot of passes done and then 63 who won this race last year and had a really good season last year not having a good season this year and not starting well this year so that's interesting nonetheless so interesting a lot of interesting stuff a shake up and then Jack Ross started inside the top 10 once again. And Aztec Levette started uh, getting a good run up here. He finished, I believe, third in the uh, later race this uh, last year in the series. So, interesting. New number new manufacturer. But uh, we're going to go to the command about 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drivers, start your engines! Zach to note too, next week Monaco will be pulling double duty. 
Yep, Eric Montego getting some cup experience. The field's getting together. Monica drives a 48. And not really starting to tip front. Ray, you want to call the green? Green, green, green. <laughs> that was a very short uh, start, but <laughs> there they go. I thought we were talking about, like, yeah, Monica will get double duty next week because I'm hurt. So. <laughs> Monaco is going to drive the five in the Cup Series. 93 is going to try to get that run up top. He may run it up a little too high and lose that position. 24 holds holds stare. Don't think he's, I don't know, we'll see. stay. Seen Zevil and uh, some Dan had a very interesting finish last year. It was actually a photo finish from racing. Almost identical to this. Still battling for the lead. Still see a little bit of dust there. Gregor Dixon was three wide back there. Don't Maybe. like they were. We'll go to the 22, who's started a little bit better than where he's at. As the 24 will take the lead. Yes, they are the 88, the 54, 54. He, uh, as we are under yellow now, but there are four, they are three wide there. Under yellow sure. lap three. Let's we'll see what caused that. So under yellow Red. now. Um, let's see the back. I think the forty, uh, the eighty-seven looks like he may have gotten some damage. Eighty-seven, is Saber Fox. Yeah, he's got some damage. All right, let's back to see what happened here. This is on lap two, and everyone going three wide, four wide in some areas. I see Monaco may have some issues as well. Oh, Monaco. Yeah, we were just talking about him. He's going to be doing double duty. Looks like he got into the 58 there. Overzealous on a corner. Right, there was a wreck. There was a little wreck right in front of them. Right in front of Style. 55 gets tagged. 87 saves it. I think the 83 got some damage to the 87. There was a pile up right in front of, uh, right in front of Style. Wait, really? Yeah, I think the one right in front of Styles as well. I don't see it. Or it might be in weird for the camera. I couldn't see it. Yeah, it was him. It looked weird because the camera was a little bit sideways, so it looked like it happened in front of him. Well, uh, what is... Okay, so that's in 16th. Kyler Sustray is not wasting any time. He's already up to 13th from a 17th place start. So he may keep up this streak. <laughs> um, anyways, though, 24 is your leader. He did not lead the first two laps. So it's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. That way we can turn on our you know, my checkers if we need them. Go back to live. All right. So truly money. Uh, hasn't made a lot of noise in this series, but uh, done that. So, take a look. I did the 55 Ryan Cole got tagged in that wreck, so he will be out of the race. A tough break for him. He hasn't been having a great season. The worst part of that that happened in the back of the pack. So, Eric Monaco and uh, Saber Fox. And I think Freak Chilton even got a little bit of damage there. So, uh, Frank Chilton's points lead is probably going to dwindle after this. His dirt just isn't showing to be his strong suit. Let me paste minus here if they don't get the to go sign. All right, we're going to green this time. I thought we were double file, right? Yep, we're going to go double file once we get to the back. Okay. All right, so tough to tear two teammates, then two more teammates, and then the lone 24 of really money. He doesn't have a single teammate in the entire top 10. I don't think teammates are going to be a huge factor here. We'll have to see that on his start. Also watch the 93. Make sure he doesn't jump the start. If he jumps it by a car length or a suspected car length, that'll be a black flag. Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's a car length. 93 is going to get the black flag. And we just said it, Zach. He was like he was gonna do it. And he did it. Yep. He passed 
he went a car length ahead of the leader before the start finish line. However, he will get stored for his lap sled as we are now in yellow once again. Looks like they wrecked again. As Mark Nelson takes second as they race to the yellow. Very careful doing that, though, to make sure not to catch up to the crash. All right, your yellow. Looks like the 101 maybe might have been involved in this one. Oh, yeah, he's involved in it, no doubt. 46. So this happened in the back of the pack as well. Back of the pack is not the place to be, as uh, the guys that aren't doing so well in this race are clearly showing it. Oh, this happened great. before that. Uh, you might want to go back to the one 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 I can't see who that was. Yeah. That is Moon Man and Michael. Looks like they got together. We'll go slow mo here. So Moon Man and Michael Giro. Michaela Giro got together. It looked like the one one got tight. Got into the 43. 43 got loose, getting the wall, saved it. 101 tagged the 29. 18 bumps the 90. Oh, 46 get plowed into by the 37. And then, yeah, I think that's really it on that. I don't think anyone else had any issues. Definitely keep an eye on the 43. You got a ton of damage. Hit that wall a ton. Then the 29 and the 37. They may have. They got hit. In, 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 and that's such an angle where it might have taken them out of contention. But we'll go back live. I don't think this will cause any DNFs. I could be mistaken. No, it won't. So the only car out of the race is still Ryan Cole in the 55. Makes me wonder. The four French Hilton passed quite a few cars there. He is went from like third last to 30th. So. He's, he's trying to get some recovery going. But, yeah, nonetheless, the 46, last running car on the field. Why are we going green? Green, green, green? No, we're not going, no, we're not going green yet. It looks, the field, the pace is a little quick. It's like, a, it, it feels like it's quick, even though it's not. So the 24 will resume the leader. Or, excuse me, I would not repeat the same mistake twice, otherwise that is a black flag. So, that's the only guys out of the race. Kyler, uh, keep an eye on that 97. He has fallen back again to 17th. Wow. Something. He's trying to keep that top 10 streak alive, and he'll do a lot to do it. But dirt is such a huge twist. It is such a big twist. It's really money has led, uh, arguably, all of them. He had a good start. 93 has led a few here and there. Let's we'll see if 51's got anything. Again, car length or looks somewhat-ish like a car length is a black flag, as we're going to go green this time. The two Pontiacs, a Toyota, and a Ford. Along with another Ford. And then there's only two Chevys in the top ten. There's your Fords, Dodges, and Pontiacs. Only two Pontiacs in the field, mind you. All right. 51... Keep it clean and not take the jump. Or at least make it look like they don't take the jump. So it looks like they're trying. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a car length. Damn. Two penalties in a row. Yeah, but Jay, you got to give the leader penalty too because he's lacking all too far too. I don't think he's lacking, but 51's going to be black here. He's not going to be able to serve it much. If we stay green, it's going to be interesting. So the 51 is going to... Ooh! 51 going to try to pit. Damages the 24 a little bit there. 06 got a heck of a run there. As we may have our first green flag stint. Unfortunately, the two running racing cars uh, restart violations on their end. We may end up doing this race, the remainder of it. Um, green, um, you know, single file starts to prevent that. If we go under yellow again, we will do the remainder of this race with single file starts to prevent that. Just as a dirt track and also kind of makes sense. So the 24 has really checked himself out at this point. Jack Ross trying to take third. Vince Freeze is stuck inside the top 10 as the 51's coming out of Pit Road. 
Clay does that safely and doesn't work the entire field in the process. Does so. He nice almost got it. He almost hit freeze. Almost. He <laughs> didn't. Because the set 97 is. His top 10 streak is slowly looking less and less likely as cars are once. We are once again under yellow. Two is four. Where is it? The 93. Okay, so I don't know why they keep going to red, but... So this last yellow will be, um... Looks like the 43... Oh, 71 with a ton of damage. So we're going to go ahead and pause it here. And we're going to make the remainder of this race. We'll have single file restarts. Alright, so let's see what I'm going to 71. Spectator. Yeah, he was running the second to last, so I have it in front of him. I think it was the 43. He had had damage. Michael Guerrero. Oh, 04 Lucky. He was getting tight. Oh, the three in him somehow got together. So, second time in a race, Michael's going to get into another car, except this time it arguably his fault. Into the three. Yeah, a teammate to drag out. Yeah, somewhat teammates. Yeah, manufacturer teammates and factory teammates. So bad at oh, 33 hard like there. And 71 gets plowed. Definitely the worst wreck of the race. And a 33 in it as well. So that raises the toll. However, not everyone's out yet. Uh, 93, 51 yeah. scored a lap down. So he got under serving a penalty. He will not get a free pass. I don't know. I might give him one. Yeah, I'll give him one. Nice. So the 02 <laughs> is going to be second out. Again, this will be green flag, or this will be single file starts to the finish. Uh, interesting top 10 still. Right, great right, pick. Right. Say that again. You want to do race picks to go? I think that O2 may sneak in and get the win here. Hmm. I'm gonna go to 24. Smart move. Yeah, smart I'm gonna, move. But I'm gonna say watch the 54. Yeah, 54. Uh, hasn't got hasn't done very well uh, at all. So yeah, Tata Boy has been. Consistent with pole positioning, but he's not been able to been there at the finish today. He may turn that around just in finishing itself. It's freezing the top 10 and Space Guy and a few other cars we don't usually see up here. Tyler Schuster is falling back to 20th, so he is. I don't think he's going to pass 10 cars in two laps to get his top 10 streak afloat. Frank Chilton has recovered to 29th, so he hasn't. He's not going to have a good finish today either, so this is going to be an interesting shake of points. Then Zigzag, Zigzagoon is going to be up here. So single file restart here to finish off the race. I'm going to let you call green this last time after this pace car goes in. Yep. Green, green, green. 99 with a good start there on the 06, but no one does anything towards the 24. There's going to be two laps to finish if they make it this lap. If they don't make it this lap, we're going to try it again. 99 loses a ton of time. Are they going to make it to the white? They will. Truly money. Two laps to go. One lap to go. Battle for second and third heating up. 46 in pit road, a lot of cars in pit road. Is, uh, the yellow is called out on the last lap, so we're going to race to the line regardless as there is a wreck on the front stretch as the 24 is going to win the race. They did wreck on the front stretch on the final lap. All right, truly money led the whole thing. That was our twist, so darn, but eh, could have been worse. Let's take a look at what happened to the uh, 101. There's a 24 ticks to win there. 
So the 101, coming, this was on the last lap, 17 came to the road. Not sure why. Oh, 43 just got into him again. Those two, that is the second time they've gotten together this race. And then I think they get together once more. Oh, wow, that 101 is not happy. Oh, flips himself. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, man. That is interesting rivalry between the 43 of Michael Giro and the 101 of Moon Man. Returning yeah, the Michael. favor on the last lap and flipping uh, the person who who originally wrecked him. I think McKellar was involved in almost every wreck this race, but still managed to finish it. Yeah, Michael, Michael can be in trouble at this race when he's <laughs> driving this race. Well, uh, that's between you and you and him. Uh, as a series owner, I'm not going to interfere. But, yep, truly money getting his first one. I think this is 2021. Uh, pretty much led the whole thing. Uh, yeah, that was... Could have been better. Thought I found the right uh, setup there. More tweaks are necessary, it seems. So, work on that. But a lot of passing in the back. And I want to say a big point shake up is Kyler Soustre. His top 10 streak is officially over as he finishes 21st. But uh, still, strong run by him. Six top 10s. That is insane. Huge for Kyler Soustre. Unfortunately, he had to end here at Bristol Dirt. This was the most unlikely places for it to continue as well. So, such a crazy track. Unpredictable. Um, any Anything you really... Thought stood out from this race, Reggie? No passing. <laughs> they were just playing a fire race in the day. Yeah, oh, there's just too many yellows to tell, though. I mean, there was, diff there was passing in the back, but like up front, there just wasn't any. They couldn't get it going, but yeah, unfortunate. Um, thought I had the setup right. Guess I didn't learn from that, but uh, go on to the next race. Interesting point shakeup. And that's from Zine. Me and Reggie, we'll see you next race.